Well, the New Zealand International Comedy Fest may be in full swing, but it still has so many incredible events to come. With us now is General Ben Corecast member, one third of the Frickin' Dangerous Bro Trio, and comedian James Rocke. Okay, welcome, James. Yes, thanks for having me. Really nice to have you Man, here. when you rattle off all my what I do like that, it makes me sound so legit. It does make you sound legit. I'm going to make you call my mum and be like, this, is, this guy has a real See, job. He has made it. He actually has made it. Um, really nice to have you back, because you were on last year. We had you on with uh, part of the Frickin' Dangerous Bro. Yeah. And we had your, your castmates and James... Uh, Jermaine and Pax. Yeah, recently and I as heard well. they threw me under the bus. I watched they the clip. Yes. I think they threw you under the bus more than once, actually. <laughs> yeah. They threw you, took you back out again, threw you yeah, again. And again. Yeah, and reversed again. Just to make sure. Well, um, who's here now? Not them. Exactly. And who's on his own? Got the floor to himself. Yeah. Um, so, what have the highlights been so far for you this year? Have you caught many of the acts? Um, I, I've caught a couple of acts. I caught Sarah Callahan in Wellington. She was very funny. Also, uh, the highlight would be the gala for me. It was my first year doing it. And it was very exciting. But yes. also, just to be backstage and watch all the acts from international, all the international acts come through and just like smash it and all the local acts also like hold their own, it was awesome. And no, so, it is an amazing show, that gala show, which I guess is a tester for you. When you've got some downtime, will yeah. you go and see other shows? Oh yeah, definitely. But I won't have any downtime to like the third week of the festival because right. for some reason I put my fingers in many pies this year, ruin, just ruining all the pies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but that's um, a good sign though, yeah, isn't oh, it? Absolutely. These things are yeah. rocking. Yeah. When, you, when you're backstage like that, do you get to talk, are there sort of like comedic idols that you have or do you get to talk to them all or what how does it all work with yeah, comedians? It's, it's really weird because comics on stage they're like these larger than life people but then backstage they're just like regular people they're just like out like they're kind of on their phone or like looking sad or whatever. Instagramming. <laughs> <laughs> and just like oh I can just talk to you you're just a regular person but yeah I, like I, they're usually pretty nice so there are a few people that have come through like I met um, Dane Baptiste from the UK he's oh, wow. like he's a very funny guy and he's just an, an average dude like an average Gerald kind of a dude and it was really nice to meet him. <laughs> Who, clever, actually. Yeah, yeah, who inspired you when you were younger to get into comedy? Oh, Chris Rock. I uh, was huge Chris Rock. I actually, the first stand-up special I ever saw was Chris Rock's DVD, Never Scared, and I only saw it because I got food poisoning at my friend's <laughs> birthday party, and so I was sick, and I went to Video Easy, and I did the $10 for, like, 10 DVDs for $10 oh, on Tuesdays. Brilliant. And I just, like, for some reason, like, slipped a Chris Rock DVD in there, and I wouldn't be doing stand-up if I didn't get food poisoning from my friends. So shout-out to Riza, wherever you are. Yeah, wow, and so also nice. to, to the, the dates when there used to be video stores. Here. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. Remember those? It's Ancient like times. Now. Back in the, when there was a thing called the Landline as well. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. That was crazy. Actually, there is still one in Fong Matata, though, because I saw it the other day, I was like, "Wow, that's amazing!" Well, like a see, United video, yeah, or like something. you see it, like a video shot. It was incredible. Wow. So people, people were like, "Hey, do you want a United video and chill?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hasn't got quite the same ring. No, to it, exactly. Does it? Hey, what does your mum think of your choice of career? Well, funny you say that, Mel, actually, because that's, uh, I talked about that in my show this year, because uh, my, my parents, my mum and dad, were like migrants to New Zealand, and migrant parents, uh, when you tell them that you want to be in the arts, they're like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Did we come so, to this country for that? Yeah, so I had to kind of convince them and be like, no, actually, this is why we came here, so I can do this. Like, if I couldn't do this back home, so, you know, so I had to, they, they came around eventually. But, yeah, so they're supportive This now. interview will help, too. I'm yeah, sure. no, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to James's parents. Yes. <laughs> he is doing great. Yeah. Hey, um, so Legal Aliens, that's the name of your show. Yeah, that's my show. You've touched on it. Tell us a bit more about it. So it's pretty much a story of, of um, me as an immigrant in New Zealand. So basically what I want to do is because, like, lately what happens on Facebook when you read, like, an article about immigration and then for some reason a voice in your head's like, read the comments, and you read the comments <laughs> and it's always some dude being like, there's so many immigrants coming to New Zealand and stuff, and I'm just like, oh, and so I just pretty much wrote a show to, like, to rebuttal, like, that that person. <laughs> and how long does it take to write a show like that? I've always been curious, because, you know, for your, for your hour on stage, I guess it's months, if not years, of preparation. Yeah, I've been working on this one since about July. Right. Yeah, because you can't... This is the thing, when you're writing, like, a like a comedy hour, you can't just, like, write it and then do it once, and that's it. Like, yeah. you have to know if it's funny, so you have to kind of write material bits at a time, Go to like a, a crappy open mic somewhere and try it out, and you, it might be bad, and then go back to the drawing board. It's a real humbling experience because every year you're like, I'm a good comedian now, and then every year you write new material and you try it, and you're like, ah, I suck. Like, <laughs> you have to like relearn it's, how to do it. It's similar like when you post something funny on Facebook, you think everyone's going to think this yeah. is hysterical. No yeah. one likes it. And it's it. like two likes, and yeah. you have to delete it out of shame. You're like, <laughs> you're like, I don't, I don't that was so even... funny. Um, now tell us about the comedy uh, charity event that you're involved with, the Good Guys, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so it's called yeah, it's called the Good Guys, and it's been going I think for over, like ten years now, but this year we're raising money uh, to it's it's from uh, it's run by a charity called Spinning Top 
and uh, they're raising money to build uh, schools for ref for refugees, uh, refugee children in Bangladesh. So, um, and it's it's got a whole bunch of people this year. Corey Gonzalez McCure, who you know from What You Do in the Shadows, uh, Michelle Eckhart is doing it. Jeremy Elwood, a whole bunch of really funny people, just yeah, doing a really great thing. I think. Yeah, yeah. great, uh, great cast. I oh. guess Did you call them a cast. Yeah, yeah a lineup. <laughs> yeah, a lineup. Here you go. Okay, and friggin' dangerous, bro. How's yeah. that been going? Uh, really great. And uh, we actually did our show in Wellington last week, and it was. I think. We performed some of the to the wild, like wildest crowds we've ever performed Brilliant. ever. Um, so we're really excited to do it in Auckland. Oh, yes. um, and we've got a bigger room this year as well, so it's going to get even crazier. Wow. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to do it. I, I love those boys so much, even though they threw me under the bus. I don't yes. know what Mike to look at this one. I was about. Mike? Yeah, you can look. Camera. There's your mic right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm why. Look, I've had two coffees yeah. here in the cafe, and I am losing my mind. Because you're, you're a half strength bloody kind of a guy, aren't you? Pardon? You're a half strength. I am a half kind of strength kind of a guy. I'm, I'm very gutted you outed me. In front of the nation now. <laughs> um, now is your chance, if you'd wanted to, because they did throw you under the bus quite mm, substantially yeah. last week when they were on. What, yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to chuck anyone out? Want to Jermaine or Pax under the bus? You know what? Age, bro? I, I would take the high road because I'm better than that. But uh, I'm clearly the leader of the group anyway because I'm here by myself. No, so. just, that's right. He doesn't <laughs> need a small person. Excellent. Hey, that's great. Um, so good to have you in the studio. Thank you so much. There is still so much of the 2018 Comedy Fest left to see too. You can head to comedyfestival.co.nz for details on all of the shows that we have just been talking about.